Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna have a look at the revamped snowman event. They got super creative and made it more annoying again. So stick around to see how you can best farm them. Yo, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Pomzor and yeah, before we go into the video, there are two things that I want to mention. First off, we have a shiny new Discord server for our community. So the link is in the description below. And if you want to hang out with the community, just do sparring, school for round, whatever, join us. I will be happy to see, there, see you. I will be there. And uh, you will also get to, you know, give me feedback on my videos, which is helping me improve my content for you. You also can give me some input on what kind of videos you would like to see in the future. And uh, whatever we can do on the server, you know, you can give me feedback there as well, you know, just expand it. We have some uh, some Discord games as well, like the Dragon Ball Legends one, PokeCard, and we can add more there as well. So just join us and make uh, our community grow and fun. The second thing is we managed to reach our goal of getting to 1,500 subscribers before the end of the year. And I want to extend my sincere gratitude to each and every body of you who has stuck with me along the journey who has given me feedback to improve my stuff who has given you know advice who has helped me out given me shout outs and all this stuff uh, i really appreciate everybody of you uh, every single one i ne never thought that would be possible and yeah i mean last year i remember my when i started doing legends um you know the quality was kind of meh my overlays were bad my thumbnails were kind of blah and just through, you know, people giving me feedback and helping me out with, hey, you could improve this and maybe make this different. Um, this is what helped me a lot. And this is what, you know, put me in the spot that I am right now with all you guys. And because of that, I want to do something that I have never done before, but I've kind of teasered in a little bit of a vague way. So let me click this button here. What's up? This is my face. Now you know what I look like. Herman the German. Uh, stereotypical, right? Baldy or as my girlfriend calls me, Baldy Locks. And um, yeah, I'm gonna do this more often from now on since I have a green screen, I have a, a good light, I have a more, like a decent webcam. So we're gonna do this. This is my first video on camera, so bear with me. With no, what I, not, I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, for example, or sometimes with the guides, for example, I need to read my script a little bit so I don't give you wrong information or miss anything. And with that said, speaking of information, let's get into this guide and as you already probably seen, they revamped the snowman event. Now it's decorated snowmen, super creative. For me, they look like kind of Cossack snowmen, or maybe, I don't even know. Uh, it's a bucket on the head that they added there. You can see it, or here. Still need to kind of figure out, you know, left, right. Um, either way, there is, I know that most of you really like hate this grind, but there's still a reason why you want to do this and you probably already saw that they added the step up guaranteed sparking tickets as a mission reward to the snowman. Uh, you need to get around 600, not around, you need to get 600,000 of them in order to get all the GSPs and you'll need all five of uh, one sort in order to do your summons. So 600k that gets you the last Vegeta ticket, Goku is around 500 or 550,000. So definitely do it. And we'll get into what's the best strategy given how much time you have. So, first off, the usual things apply here. So, you know, you get the adventures from events, you collect the snowmen, you fulfill the missions, and voila, there's your guaranteed sparking Super Saiyan for Vegeta. The thing is also that you can, you know, exchange as usual. You can exchange your snowmen at the exchange shop for Super Souls, Rising Souls, also the new seven. Uh, Rising Souls and Super Souls, but also Master's Pack tickets, energy coupons, probably skip tickets. I haven't really taken a look. Training items, whatever. You know, like all the stuff that you always have there. Um, the adventures can be obtained from the following events right now, which uh, is the um, sell the ultimate life form event, which drops one one hour and one three hour adventure per stamina used or per energy used. And starting the 1st of January, it will be sell the evolving life form. Very important difference, very creative how they're naming everything, right? So um, this will be the same, super creative. Um, PVP this time drops three hour adventures, shoot me. I, I don't know why, why would they do that? It's so dumb because one of the reasons why I was grinding PVP so much last season was 
because they dropped the one hour adventures so i wouldn't have to use energy right and you can get the one hour adventures from whatever legends road exchange shop is currently on so right now it's great say you can buy the one hour adventures with 50 of whatever metal so 50 gold one hour adventure 50 silver 50 bronze um yeah that's pretty much it and the bonus characters this time are surprise surprise gt i mean with the theming of the current step up banner of course they want to make you summon for more so it's gt and if you have every character in the game or let's say every gt character in the game that is that should be 15 that means you have just enough to fill every character slot in the adventures so make sure that you max out all your units because at first I didn't, I forgot about it, I just, I'll be honest, because I'm kind of lazy, so I didn't max out all my units just yet, and um, I forgot about it, I was like, why am I getting regular success? Oh yeah, true, they're like level 2700, level 3000, my bad, so make sure that you do this, because it's always, it's um, bonus category over level over color, so make sure that you have GT characters at max level, and if you don't have all of those characters, then you can still just kind of distribute them over the different adventures. So uh, what that means is that, you know, you, the colors are purple, blue, and red. So you just put like a purple um, GT character in each adventure or, you know, blue or red, and then just fill them up with other characters that you have at max level and you'll be okay. So that you at least get, you know, great successes and maybe the occasional huge success. So that should be it for the characters. It's pretty easy, right? Um, so let's get into the quick maths, and this time the quick maths will be kind of quick, especially because there's only two types of adventures again, and they're kind of similar to what the snowman used to be before, because it's just, you know, they just put a, a bucket on the head. That's it. So um, as most of the times, I will use um, the base of calculation with four great successes and one huge success. The great successes drop you uh, five snowmen, and the huge success will drop seven. So um, the one hour adventures drop around 150, 160 snowmen per hour. I think I also used that figure last time. So we're going to use 150 again because I like to be conservative. And if you get more, great. If you get less, you're going to be disappointed. So I'd rather use the lower number. So the great successes will drop you four times 150 times five is 3000 snowmen in one hour. The great, the huge success We'll add another 750 on top of that, so you have a total of 3,750 in one hour, which scaling it up to three hours gives you 11,250. So it's exactly the same as in my previous calculation. The three hour adventures, um, I have a pretty small sample size. I just kind of took a screenshot because I want to do one hour during the day because usually it's better. Uh, three hours drop around 230, 240 snowmen. I think 240 I might have used last time. I'm going to use 230 this time. So uh, the great successes drop you four times 230 times five equals 4,600 snowmen. Add another 1,600-ish for the huge success, which will give you a total of 6,210 snowmen per three hours, which is roughly half, the, there's a fly here. There's, uh, it's roughly half the amount, I think I almost swallowed it, sorry. <laughs> it's uh, roughly half the amount if you use one hour, if, um, three times in three hours, right? So 6,200 oh, against 11,200. So the choice should be pretty obvious. And you can see that even if you do two rotations of one hour, you'll get 7,500, 7, which is still 1,300 more than just doing the three hour adventures. So let's have a look at these missions. You know that you need to get 600K in order to manage um, all the tickets. And let's do two models of calculating this, the grindy one and the one that has a life. So let's start with the grindy one. You do hourly adventures. You're, let's, let's say you're awake for 16 hours a day, but you do 12 rotations because sometimes you miss it. You know, there's a little bit of overlap. Half an hour here, you notice it too late, whatever. So you do 12 rotations of one hour and like one three hour rotation before going to bed, which means that you're going to get 12 times six, 12, 12 times 3,750 plus 6,200 you will get around 51,000 snowmen every day. That means you need 12 days in order to do your GSP summits. For the life event, the life one, so you have a life, you do five rotations of three hours every day. That means, um, you know, either you just can't be asked or you don't have the time for it. It's totally fine. You get 30,000, 31,000 snowmen every day. And uh, that would mean it would take you pretty much 20 days in order to get all 600K. 
And the event is on until I think January 15th, so around 20 days. So it would be very, very close if you just did this. Um, the truth is probably somewhere in the middle for most people. So, you know, just, okay, I'm going to do one hour when I can, and then I'm going to, you know, go to work. I have meetings, I have chores, I have appointments, I have, I don't know, meeting friends, whatever. So I'm going to just do three hours here. I'm going to lock my phone in a roller, uh, in a locker and just, you know, ride a roller coaster for three hours. Of course, you're going to do that then as well. Um, but these are kind of the, the ends of the spectrum, right? So the grindy one for one hour, uh, I would love to have the three minute ones back, seriously and the non grindy ones for three hours. So it's possible to get them, I think, either way, but it will be very close with the three hour ones. Um, looking at the exchange shop, there are items for over 1.5 million snowmen, which is impossible to get because even if you do the rate um, getting 50,000 snowmen a day, that means it'll take you about 30 days, which is one month. It's the 25th, the event goes away, I think on the 15th, so there will be no new adventure starting the 16th because they expire 24 hours after you get them. That means no way, Jose, get what's important first. Whatever it is for you, trading items, energy tickets, master's pack guaranteed sparking tickets, super soul seven, rising soul seven. Just go, you know, make a prioritized list and then just go it down in the order and get what's important for you. You will not get everything. So yeah, choose wisely. Uh, anything else? I think I think that's it. So I hope this helped you. Um, if it did, consider subscribing if you're new and leaving a like. If it didn't help you, I want to hear from you in the comments down below because otherwise I can't make my content better and more interesting to any everyone. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Also, let me know how you liked my first video with my face on it because I don't know what I'm, you know, I'm gonna get into the groove, you know, by doing it more often. Uh, either way, if you want to see some more PvP or some fire summons, then click on the cards over there in a couple of seconds. I will see you there, and this is me signing off. Have a good rest of your day. My name is Pomzar. See each other in the next videos. Bye, everybody.